it was not a planned operation per se. It was a spontaneous one. And it was one that the police had to do to respond to the situation that was happening in the St. Martin's area. So when the police initially went in, there were stones were hurled at them, gunshots were heard, and so myself and Mr. Rosada communicated and we retreated to get the riot shields that the police officers can use to protect themselves as they go in from these missiles and even gunshots. When the riot shields came in, the officers farm get into the formation and they moved in very tactically and uh, they dealt with the situation. And even then, you could have heard people in the video still tr throwing words to say, do them this or do them that. So it shows the, 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 the level of hostility that the police were confronting when they went into that particular area last night. And despite that, the police still went in, extracted who needed to be extracted, detained them, and uh, that was done without causing any injuries to anybody. Now, if you ask me the question, were the police too calm? I would say yes, they were too calm. Because sometimes people need to get the message. The St. Martin's area do have a complement of officers now from our specialized units. They're in there operating, and they have instructions to ensure that they do what needs to be done to arrest the situation. What happened last night was totally uncalled for on the part of those persons who resisted the police, who stoned at the police, who shot at the police. All of these happened last night. They have to get the message. The police are the law enforcement agents in this country. And when we move in to deal with the situation, we expect that those persons against whom we're going, they must respect the law and be calm when the police come. A number of persons were detained for various reasons, and those persons are still in custody. The investigators are looking at what took place last night, and uh, when that is done, we'll see who needs to be charged.